And Winston-Salem, a church is making some major progress on a construction project to build affordable housing. We first told you about the Whole Man Ministries plans to expand around eight months ago. And now the church is welcoming its first tenant. Fox 8's Celeste Smith introduces us to a family that's been selected. I never thought I would be in a situation like this. But things come up in life, things happen. Stephen Braxton is the first person Whole Man Ministries has selected to live at the church's new affordable housing property on University Parkway in Winston-Salem. He and his 15-year-old son found themselves in a tough situation. I was staying at a friend house, me and my son. It wasn't a good place to raise my son. And the friend, he basically wanted us out. That's when church leaders stepped in, offering to help. Braxton and his son will be the first to move into the church's new property for veterans and low-income families. This is my room. Braxton said it will be the first time in nearly two years since he's had a place for just him and his son. We uh, come in and saw the place. This is my unit right here. And we both came in and boy, he was just happy. We looked around and I was happy too. I just, it's a nice place. Coleman Ministries has been renovating the property for almost eight months. The plan is to have three two bedroom apartments and the units are almost ready. Bathrooms, new flooring, uh, new countertops in the kitchen, uh, essentially everything new. And the church is also working to renovate this house. That project is more than halfway done. Now we're adding another bathroom, so there'll be two full bathrooms. We're adding another bedroom, so there'll be another bedroom, so there'll be three bedrooms and two baths. All the renovations will cost $652,000. Winston-Salem awarded the church a $450,000 grant, and the rest of the money came from community donations. We're, we want to make a nice community for our veterans and low income as well. So we're looking for those that are low income to move in with their families that are saying, this, they're saying that I want to do something different and I want to be in an area where I feel safe um, and, and uh, have a community. Now, Braxton and his son, they're hoping to move in by late March, maybe even early April.